Rob. Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe. And today we're taking a look at the DC Chess Collection by Eagle Moss. This is piece number 26 in the Batman Collection. This is, of course, the trusted Alfred Pennyworth. Uh, this comes to us from uh, my good friend, Stu Murray 47 He's helped me pick up uh, quite a few of these, and I've been able to, you know, come across a few myself. Uh, they're getting a little bit easier to come across here in the U.S. now since kind of the bat uh, portion of the chess collection is done. Uh, some local comic book shops have been able to kind of finally get a hold of some of them. But through some of the initial ones, uh, Stu was able to help me out. So thank you again, kind sir. Uh, he got this off of an eBay auction. Uh, the book was a little dinged, but that's just how the uh, seller sent it. So uh, Stu always packages his things very, very carefully to uh, get their way here to the U.S. So thank you very much, Stu. Um, uh, with some of these pieces, uh, sometimes they're uh, hit and miss on the condition that they are as far as painting but uh, Alfred looks to be in pretty good condition uh, the box is basically the standard box that we've seen I've already kind of cut the tape here um, I've had this for a few months uh, we talked about it on the one of the later episodes of the Rogue show and uh, us talking about the stack of boxes that we would have to uh, review things and uh, I just didn't get around to reviewing Alfred, and I still have some stuff on this very camera that uh, I, I just haven't uh, got a chance to upload yet, because I was fighting with my computer at the time, so um, let's get in and take a look at Mr. Pennyworth here, and he seems to be painted very, very well. As you can see, he's kind of looking up to the right a little bit, and his head's kind of turned. Maybe he sees uh, the Joker or, you know, somebody else uh, coming. Mr. Wayne, they're over here. Look what I'm looking here. So, uh, he's painted very, very well. Again, I think as the chess uh, pieces progressed in the line, uh, either that or I got a really good painter <laughs> this day that this particular Alfred was painted. Again, uh, like with some of the pieces that I've reviewed uh, so far on the channel, uh, some have been really good and some have been kind of sloppy. So I guess it just depends on who the painter is that day. Perhaps maybe I got Steve and Steve takes pride in his work. Look over here. So uh, Alfred's eyes do look a little funny, but he's looking over towards uh, the right a little bit. But at least both eyes are looking that direction. I don't have one eye looking to the right, one eye looking to the left. Look in every direction, sir. Uh, Alfred with, uh, I would say his traditional purple pants. Uh, I think a lot of times in the comics that's kind of how he was depicted. Um, and later he would just be all in black, kind of like a, uh, a butler uh, outfit or a tuxedo-ish type looking thing. But he's painted very, very well. Very submissive and waiting to uh, help Mr. Wayne in any way he possibly can. So we'll see the uh, bottom markings here on Alfred Alfred Pennyworth, BDP 7469, in case you need that information. But hey, um, again, uh, something that I really like out of this chess collection are these uh, comic book magazines. It's just a history of uh, the character that you have and a little bit about uh, chess and maybe the way your piece moves and some strategies that you can use for your piece. Um, let's uh, take a look at the read-up list for Alfred here in the book. It says, Alfred Pennyworth, following the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne, uh, their butler, Alfred, became the young Bruce Wayne's guardian. He has since gone on to become a loyal ally to Batman and is also one of the collection's white pawns. I always thought Alfred should be something a little bit greater than a pawn. Um... Granny's not doing any fighting like a Robin or Red Robin or Batgirl or Catwoman or Nightwing. But uh, Pawn just kind of seems like, you know, maybe he should have been a Rook. Like, he's in the Batcave type of deal, but nah. Um, as the uh, Bat chess pieces uh, continue in the series, uh, more of the New 52 origins and just New 52 information is getting spliced in with uh, current information and just the different eras of not only Alfred, but just the chess pieces uh, in general and uh, important stories of each of the 
uh, characters and pieces, as you can see, there's a picture here from uh, a Nightfall, right after Batman got his back broken, and uh, Alfred has stitched up Bruce a lot of times. We have some Court of the Owls uh, information going on here. Uh, Frank Miller's, or Frank Miller, Jeff Johns's uh, Earth One, where Alfred, let's get a shot of him there, where Alfred is more like a CIA, um, MI6 retired uh, agent that he's acting as a butler, but is more of kind of like the trainer for Batman in that particular universe. Uh, we have the Cataclysm kind of Cataclysm and Aftershock and the rebuilding of Wayne Manor up here at the top. So there's just a lot of cool information. And I always find out something in reading these books where I think I know everything about my favorite characters or universe. I did not realize that Alfred was in charge of the Outsiders after Bruce was lost in time or presumed dead. So uh, these magazines are really cool. Nothing else. Just It's a good learning tool. Uh, the more knowledge you have, the more knowledge you have, if that makes sense. And one of my favorite Batman comics is uh, Hush. That's, uh, that's really what kind of brought me back in. And then uh, it's just one that uh, I... I read and reread over and over again. It's just one of my favorite ones. This would be something I would love to see become a DC animated movie. So, uh, as you can see, the next piece in the chess collection uh, would be Batwoman. And this is going to be a skip because I'm going to be doing something with the chess pieces that you will see in the very next video. And there's a different uh, white rook that I'm going to put in this in Batwoman's place. And... Uh, I'll talk more about that in the next video. But this has been a look at Alfred Pennyworth, piece number 26 of the Batman DC Eagle Moss Chess Collection. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show Alfred in context with the pieces that I have, but I've got to take him downstairs to uh, my computer room where my chess board is currently set up. So we will put him in place and you can see him with the other pieces that I have so far. All right, we're back downstairs in uh, my Robin cave, or my computer room, and uh, we're going to put Alfred Pennyworth into position. Position? Position. And where do you think he should probably go? Probably right in front of Batman. That's where I think I would put uh, Alfred. He's got a little spot on the chessboard. So there is putting Alfred into position on the chessboard. Woo, big surprise. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, again, uh, thank you, Stu, for uh, sending me this piece. Uh, Stu has hooked me up with quite a few, at least on the uh, good side. Uh, he hooked me up with Robin, Batman, Nightwing, Question, and now Alfred. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Stu. Uh, this is going to be a fun chess uh uh, board to put together when initially I only thought I was going to have Red Robin, Robin, Batman, and Nightwing and then I slowly started picking up a few then I had that score at free comic book day with some of the villains to where I thought you know what I actually think I can put a chess uh, board together so this has been uh, this is gonna be a fun project to do uh, it's not like I feel like I have to rush right out and buy all these pieces it's gonna be a, a nice uh, uh, waiting game to see what I come across. I have a list of uh, pawns that I, I want to put on the board and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, today we've been taking a look at Alfred Pennyworth from the Eagle Moss DC Batman Chess Collection. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the Batman Universe signing off saying we will see you guys next time.